So we made it back to the bus. Um, it's a winter wonderland outside. I don't know if you guys can see. It's snowing. And we have some projects we're going to work on today. So Fish is going to be re reinstalling our diesel heater. We had a broken wire on it. And yeah, so we're gonna, we got a new one and we're going to install that today so then we can heat up this place. But I'm going to be working on our little like office area, um, which is right in here. I'm going to actually be redoing a lot of this because <laughs> we like, if you can see here, we didn't like how that was. So we're going to fix that gap. I'm going to take off the walls that are here on these two sides and do like a tongue and groove. I like to shut that. And then we're going to paint this back wall back here and do some cool stuff on it too. So I'm going to try to work on that. This is going to be like a little cubby area under here where we can put more clothes and like have a little desktop up here. I don't think I'll get a whole bunch done today, but we'll see what I can get done. Last time we were here, we were um, testing out our water line and our water pump to make sure that that worked, which it did. It was great. But then our hot water heater ended up leaking for some reason so we need to call the manufacturer and either get a new part or get a new water heater or troubleshoot or something I don't know um, so we weren't able to actually use it last time because we for one we didn't have a switch on the pump and for two we didn't have these valves here turn off shut off valves next to the water heater so it just kept spraying so we weren't able to drain out the water lines and so there's water in there and it's cold so they're probably frozen so our goal for today is kind of to I'm gonna work on that fish is gonna work on install reinstalling the diesel heater we're gonna try to warm this plate up and try to drain those lines so there's not water just sitting in there because this is getting all covered with the tongue and groove wood, which, woo, hello. Okay. Um, tongue and groove wood, but it looks really nice. Yeah, it looks good. I don't think I need to do a second coat. We're gonna do some other fun things with like the furry strips. Maybe do like a diagonal or do like the columns. I'm not sure, I kinda wanna do the diagonal. I think that would be kinda cool and whatever, but. We'd have to be good at making diagonal cuts. Math and stuff, you know. But now that we're like getting ready to actually move in, I had been, I was getting kind of frustrated because I felt like I wasn't really contributing 
Like a lot of times when we're here, like I was vlogging and stuff, but I wasn't necessarily like doing anything. I was kind of just sitting here while Chris was doing all this stuff. So it makes me feel good to kind of work on that project and get it done. How was out there? I just have to connect the electronics. And then it's ready? Wow. Cool, babe. Good job. So we're going to try to hook up the wiring for this so then we can get this routed and get this heating up the bus because right now it is saying the bus is 37 degrees. glow plug. I can't remember what that one is, but the batteries. And so it's priming itself right now, which is going to take a minute, which is pulling the diesel from the line up into the heater. Um, and that usually takes a couple minutes. And then it should start, you'll see some bars come across here and it'll be like green, yellow, and then red. And that how you know that it's heating up. And I'll start blowing out hot air. All right, we got the diesel heater up and running. Let's check this. It's now 41 degrees. When we first got in here, it was 37. So we've had that thing running for maybe 10 minutes. It's warmed it up that much. So that's pretty good. So when we get the bus warmed up for a while, we can turn the pump on and blow out all the lines so they're not freezing in there. Yeah. 